find the radius of convergence of a power series. So here is a power series and we want to find the interval of x values for which this series converges. For example, for an x value of 1, if you put that in there for x, you're going to get 5 to the n power and so that series diverges horribly. So x equals 1 is not going to be a value that makes the series converge. So to find the values for which it does converge, we're going to use our ratio test. Okay, so again the ratio test says you take the absolute value of successive and ratio of successive terms of the series and if that limits out to L if L is less than 1 then the series converges L is greater than 1 this then or if L is infinite then the series diverges I like a 1 test inconclusive so let's see Let's take our series and apply the ratio test. Here's a series. Ratio test. A n plus 1 over A n. Absolute value. Plug in the what it is. I have 5x to the n plus 1 power divided by absolute value of 5x to the n. It gets over to here. Like that. And then um, just cancel those off and you get 5x. And as n goes to infinity, absolute value of 5x is 5x. Okay, we want to see what x values make the series converge. Our ratio test says that the series will converge if that result is less than 1. So we solve that over and we get this statement and that says that our radius of convergence is one fifth and here's our interval of convergence at least but it might also converge at the endpoints. We gotta check them out. So what about the boundaries? these two here. So plug those in. If x equals one-fifth, plug that in here and you're going to get one to the n and a sum of one to the n is diverges. So this is out. What about negative one-fifth? Then put it in here. You get this. That's this. And that diverges because the partial sums of s and n of s sub n oscillate between 1 and 0. So it's 1, then 0, then 1, then 0. So that limit does not exist, hence the series diverges. So the entire interval happens to be just these values here and the radius of convergence was this. Here's another example. This one right here. So we do our ratio test. And you put the n plus 1 in there, of course. And you work it out. You get to here. And then we say, OK. The limit of that, what does it limit to? So this is here. We factor out 4x minus 8 out of this limit because n is moving, not the x. The x is fixed for a particular x value. It can take on any value, but once it's taken on, it's fixed. It's the n that's moving. So that equals this. And as n goes to infinity, this here goes to 2. And we want this limit to be less than 1 
for our series to converge. So these steps here are solving it out. So this shows that the radius of convergence about x equals 2 is r equals 1 8 centered at x equals 2. It means that the series converges for at least these values here, which means this, which means these. But what about the endpoints? For x equals 15 eighths, your series term is this. Put in the 15 eighths for x. Work it out, work it out, work it out to here, to there. And our series here then equals this series because all this stuff here was equal to this. And this series here is the alternating harmonic series which converges. So the series converges for x equals 15 eighths. What about x equals 17 eighths? Then put in 17 eighths, work it all out, it comes out to 1 over n. So the series with the 17 eighths in there equals this series here. That's the regular harmonic series it diverges. Hence, the interval of convergence for the original series is 15 eighths less than or equal to x less than 17 eighths. You get the 15 eighths, you don't get the 17 eighths. You get any number in between there.